Good morning. Yesterday I had the opportunity to receive the COVID-19 vaccine by uh, the Family Matters Direct Primary Care Practice. They are located in Allison Park and they're a family practice organization that is distributing the vaccine to independent healthcare practitioners. As you know, UPMC and AHN are distributing vaccine to their healthcare workers and the independent docs really didn't have a recourse until the Allegheny County Medical Society made it possible through practices like that of Dr. Lynn and Dr. Dockerty. So all I had to do after signing up was proceed to the parking lot call and uh, complete a questionnaire that asked me health questions and if I had recent vaccines and if I had recent symptoms. And then after showing my driver's license and my badge ID, I was taken into the office and was able to receive the vaccine administered by Dr. Dockerty. And it was a very seamless presentation and I hope that this will encourage my patients to think in terms of receiving the vaccine and protecting yourself against this COVID-19 epidemic. Get your band -aid. And that's all there was to it. Didn't fill a thing actually. Good. Just a little bit of pressure, that was it. No stinging, no. No stinging, no. Okay, just felt a little bit of pressure. As you know, there are two vaccines already out. The first was that from Pfizer, which requires a second boost three weeks later. And the one I received was Moderna, which will require a boost in four weeks. There are other vaccines being developed. One is from AstraZeneca, another from Johnson & Johnson. And these vaccines, at least the first one, the AstraZeneca, was a two-part vaccine in the early trials, but these may actually be vaccines that can be administered in one session. And the reason for the second vaccine is to boost the uh, immune response uh, to the COVID. We have variants that are occurring now to COVID. There's one from the UK, there's one from South Africa, and there's even one now identified in the United States. And as far as we know, this vaccine should still be protective against those variants, but only time will tell. At any rate, if you've had COVID, you should still receive the vaccine. If you haven't had COVID, you should receive the vaccine and boost it if that's what is required by the type of vaccine that you have. I had no side effects at the time. I had some pressure at the site of injection and my left arm is just some, some slight soreness um, that I would experience when I would receive the flu vaccine. I must say that I did develop some itching last night and started scratching. I took an antihistamine and that resolved uh, without a problem. So thus far, 24 hours later, I've not had any issues that I would describe as uh, being significant that would prevent me from taking the vaccine. So I hope you all will take my lead and think in terms of receiving the vaccine when it becomes available to you. For my autoimmune patients, yes, you should receive the vaccine. If you are on immune suppressing drugs, we should talk about the timing of it. And so please be in touch with us or your healthcare provider uh, regarding the, the uh, COVID-19 vaccines. Thank you and have a great day. Give us a call anytime at uh, Advanced Rheumatology and Arthritis Research Center. Thank you.